Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today I want to talk with you about the Google Analytics e-commerce tracking feature and how to install this with Google Tag Manager. Before we get started as always these little videos are brought to you by my Udemy course on Google Tag Manager. You can find out more about this at gtmtraining.com slash YouTube. In Google Analytics you have the capability to track e-commerce conversions and there's a special feature for it called e-commerce tracking. And there are actually two types of it out there right now. The first one would be the e-commerce tracking, which basically tracks the sale data on the thank you page. And the second one would be enhanced e-commerce tracking. Now in this tutorial video, I will only talk with you about the e-commerce tracking feature because enhanced e-commerce tracking is completely different and takes a whole another level of implementation with Google Tag Manager. And so I want to save this up for another video. So we'll just talk about the e-commerce tracking feature, which basically tracks the sale data on the thank you page of your online store. Now, how does this actually work? Once a user purchases something, he lands on a final thank you page and this thank you page or confirmation or transaction page features in the source code a data layer and the data layer needs to be integrated into your page and in this data layer we have all the information available that we want to transfer to Google Analytics. Now once this data layer is available we can trigger our tag which, which is a Google Analytics tag but with the special feature that it is of the track type transaction. So we can take all that data from the data layer, which is available in a data layer and transfer it on to Google Analytics. And we'll look at how we would set that up in a second. But first of all, I want to talk again about the data layer because that's the very important part here in our e-commerce tracking installation. So the data layer that you need to install on the thank you page is basically the information that you want to transfer and that Google Analytics needs to fill your e-commerce reports. So we have, for example, the transaction ID, the transaction total, and all the products that are associated with that transaction. And this data that you see here is dummy data. It needs to be filled dynamically. So the transaction ID, if it changes, it needs to change in your data layer. And the products that have been purchased need to be changing so you can just copy and paste this into your thank you page but this needs to change dynamically and there are two ways to install this data layer functionality onto your thank you page the first one being manual so you need to have a deep integration with your cms system with your shop system so for example on magento or woocommerce you would go in and edit the template of the thank you page to feature this data layer and fill out the values of this data layer dynamically. This probably needs a little bit of programming and we won't go into detail in this tutorial, but it's definitely possible to install this data layer manually onto your thank you page. The second method of doing this is doing this through plugins. And if you have a bigger shop system that is extendable, such as Magento, WooCommerce, PrestaShop, and so on, chances are high that there's a plugin out there in the extension store of your shop system that you can download and install onto your page. And this will do the data layer integration for you automatically. Now let's take a look at how I accomplish this in my demo store. Now here we are back in our demo shop and this demo shop is built upon WordPress with the plugin of WooCommerce and we all know that WordPress is pretty extendable when it comes to plugins and I have installed a plugin right here which is the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin by Thomas Geiger. And this is really a great plugin because once you go to the settings of this plugin and go into integrations and under WooCommerce, you can enable the, tres the classic e-commerce data layer for your web page. You can also install the enhanced e-commerce tracking, but this is for another video. So once you click save changes, and when we go back to our demo shop and go through a quick test purchase, We'll get to the page here that is in question, which is our thank you page. 
And on this page, the data layer should fire and have our information available so we can pass it on to Google Analytics via Google Tag Manager. And in order to check the data layer, we can go into the developer tools within Google Chrome. So that would be under View, Developer, and then JavaScript Console. And in this JavaScript Console in the developer tools, we can put in data layer. And that will give us all the objects that are currently available in the data layer for us to pass on to Google Tag Manager and then to Google Analytics. So once we click on the first object here, we already have the full data layer integration of our e-commerce tracking. So for example, we have the transaction ID, we have the products that have been sold. So there is one product in here. And we also have the total transaction amount. So now there are also other values in this data layer, which are not as important, but it's safe to say that this data layer holds the values that we need to pass on to Google Analytics in order to fill our e-commerce reports. Now all we have to do is fire an event based on this data layer. And we can see up here that there's an event type in this data layer called GTM for WP order completed. And we can use this to trigger our event. Now let's configure that in Google Tag Manager. Let's go back to our Google Tag Manager account. And here we simply fire a Google Analytics tag based on this event. Now let's st start out by clicking on new event, choosing Google Analytics as a tag. It's a universal analytics tag. And now we put in here our tracking ID, which I have stored in a variable, so I don't have to type it in again and again. And then down here, we already have the track type. And as a track type, we choose this time transaction. Now we can ignore all these other settings because we have everything available in the data layer. So we click on continue. And now we have to fire our tag based on this event that's happening in the data layer. So we can click here on more and on new trigger. And we'll just call this trigger transaction and we want to fire this transaction trigger on a custom event. And this event name equals the name here in our data layer, which we can copy and then paste in our event name. Now we can add filters, which we don't have to do here because this is pretty unique. And then we can save the trigger and our tag is pretty much ready to go. Now we just need to a given name for this tag. And then we can create this tag. Now best practice is of course to preview and debug this. So let's go into the preview and debug mode. And then back to our demo store. And here we have, are on the thank you page. Of course, we could go through another test purchase, but I still have this open. So I'll just reload this page. And the Google Tag Manager console opens up down here. We first of all see that there's an event triggered, GTM for WP. Once we click on that, we see that our Google Analytics transaction event has fired. Now, once we click into this, we can see that our trigger was set up correctly and transferred this information to Google Analytics. Now, there is no direct way to see in Google Analytics under the real-time reporting if this data was taken up correctly, but what we can do is use a little plugin called the GA debugger for Chrome to see which data actually gets transferred 
to Google Analytics. And we can do this by opening up the developer tools again. And go to the console and then reload this page by clicking on this little D GA debugger tool. And then we see all the data that's, that is sent in the Google Analytics hit. And here we also see that transaction information was sent to Google Analytics with the right order ID, the revenue, and so on. Now, this should be sufficient to fill our reports here on, under Google Analytics and under the conversion and e-commerce reporting. Now, one important thing in order to get this filled is that you have e-commerce tracking enabled in the admin section under e-commerce settings in your view settings. And here you need to have e-commerce enabled. And then the reports will be filled. This can take up to 48 hours till all the data is displayed correctly in Google Analytics. So we won't see anything at this point. So just to recap again, you need to install the data layer on your thank you page. Then you need to build an event trigger that triggers our Google Analytics tag with the track type transaction to transfer the right data into Google Analytics and fill our e-commerce reports. And that's already it with our little video here at gtmtraining.com. If you like those videos, please subscribe to the channel or like our videos. And if you have any questions or concerns, please put them into the comment section below. I'm Julian, till next time. So now let's get started with scroll tracking within GTM. And in order to, and what we'll do in this little tutorial is implement a custom HTML tag, which will basically act as our event listener in Google Tag Manager. And when somebody's, now let's get started talking about bounce rate. So the bounce rate is often seen as this metric to evaluate landing pages. So does the traffic that hits my page actually stick around or leave the page? There's actually a little bit of a problem here with the bounce rate because the way that is defined in Google Analytics. Let's have a look. So bounce in.